Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Freya Tate and this is James Tate, my husband. Hey there. In today's video, I want to tell you about the time he bought me a cheap ring, the cheapest <laughs> wedding ring. <laughs> the video let me tell you the story this is what happened the day that we were getting married and I'm, I'm pretty sure you know this story how we got married we were not prepared we sort of did everything backwards so with the day that we were scheduled to get married we had gone into the registrar office right yeah marriage reg ma yeah marriage registrar and guys we did not even have the rings the wedding bands yeah this, this was you know uh, 17 and a 17, half years yeah ago. 17 and a half years ago i come over and we had met and we had an idea that we were going to get married but uh, we kind of made an adjustment on the fly, like with, without a whole lot of advanced planning. Uh, I think our original idea was that I was going to come back yeah. uh, after a few months and that we were going to do, but uh, for, for reasons that we explained in one of our other videos, and it's also on this channel, uh, we decided to get married very quickly, like almost right after we just got met or just met. And yeah. So, yeah. So there we were. Yes, we got married, and as you can see in the pictures, there we are. We are just holding hands and signing the marriage license. We had no rings at all. So this is what happened. Then, after that we decided that we were going to buy some wedding bands so we got some wedding bands from game the game stores however the wedding band that he got me didn't even fit me yeah it was a bit loose right it was a bit loose yes. and here's the story he said after i come back in two months I wanted to leave the uh, the uh, <laughs> like the the suntan. The suntan. You, you'll see. Yeah, where? Yeah, you will see if you've been wearing the ring. It's an idea. Like here's my ring, right? Yeah. If you uh, if you look, you can see when you when you're wearing it a lot, and then it's like a mark on the skin and. Uh, a little bit of a, a, a pale part where the, there's no sun. Uh, but James, that the the ring we had gotten for me so didn't I, even fit me. I'd have it, and you'd have you'd have yours. Yeah, but mine was loose. A little bit, right? When I was putting on the lotion, like it would become loose, <laughs> almost falling off. Is is it there? Have you got it? Yeah. Show people. Let's see. Yeah, it's here. Okay. Yeah. That's it right it's, there. Uh, it was quite loose. So, he decided to buy me a ring. Another, another ring. Where at? And it was at Flower Boutique. The Flower Boutique? Yes. And they're still there? Yes, they are. Okay. They are. Now, and if they saw you today, they, probably they, would, remember, right? they would probably remember you that he is the person that bought the wife, the beautiful wife, a cheap ring. Tell them when and, you, show them and then yeah. tell them how they would look at you when we went. Yeah. We'll have a picture of that too. Maybe we get a picture. Yeah, we will have a picture of that so that you can have an idea of how cheap this ring is. It was cheap. There's <laughs> no doubt about it. It was uh, it was very definitely very cheap. What's it made out of? Probably aluminum. It's like it's sort of here. We'll have a picture, but it's uh, it's gray. Like it's not even gold. 
Yeah. And how much was it? This was, at the time, this was about, you know, less than 200 kwacha. And that's an equivalent of maybe... At the time. Yeah. At most, even at, at the, the most, time, like 30 bucks. Yeah, 30 dollars. Oh. This is how cheap that he went on me. And I was like, <laughs> really? <laughs> Am I that cheap? <laughs> at the store, when we went to buy <laughs> this ring, the, the girl that was helping me, there were some ladies that were helping me, obviously they saw some people that would walk in there and they would walk away with some expensive rings and here I come with my Muzungu white man and this is all he could buy for me and they were looking at her yeah. like, what the they heck? were looking at me like, like what the heck they were giving you a funny look sure. yeah even customers that were in that store were looking at me like girl are you insane you gonna accept that ring from the white man but i did and why i did now okay so that's the what and uh, yeah and it still fits it's, look at that now this is important here because yeah. there's a reason why we've told you what happened we've explained the circumstances uh the situation that we were in uh when i was buying this ring but now we're going to explain why i got this ring a yeah. second ring and why well, like, we didn't bother to spend a lot of money on, on this one here well is it because you couldn't afford a ring no, or just because you looked at me as cheap it's actually 100 percent the opposite we have a very very good reason why we got this ring and now we're going to explain yeah go ahead why did you buy me a cheap ring okay remember how we weren't prepared and we were getting married um kind of on the fly all, all sort of a spur of the moment type of thing so we had a wedding band and then we got this ring because the idea was we needed to know what her finger size was. Why? Because I was going back to Canada and I was coming back a little bit later, like a few months down the road. And while I was in Canada, I wanted to buy her the actual ring that she was going to wear. Um, and instead of just having someone measure and saying, oh, her finger is like a a 7.2 or I don't know what whatever numbering system they've got I would have the actual physical ring that we knew that fit perfectly and so it's just for the purpose of knowing her finger size yeah and that's why we didn't spend much on that so I took that with me back she didn't even keep it she stayed here uh, I went back to Canada with this ring as a sort of like information so I would know exactly what her finger size was and then I went to a jewelry store in Canada mm -hmm. and I bought a very nice gold ring with uh, I think a, a Tiffany cut diamond yeah. uh, and it, it's pretty nice we here's yeah. here's the one that I actually the got the, the real ring yeah, so this is a ring that he bought me and we'll put a picture yeah we'll put a picture of it and this is what I have been wearing for 17 years. This cheap one, I didn't even wear it. Uh, two months later, when we were having a ceremony, he came back and brought this diamond ring. And he gave it to me. And it was... <laughs> It was funny because at the time that we were getting near, he, like I said, we did everything backwards. Kind of backwards, yeah. Yeah, kind of backwards. And so when he was giving me this ring, he actually knelt down on one knee and said, we were already married. Like, you can imagine just how funny that this was to me 
well maybe it was a little funny but yeah so he nailed down and he gave me the diamond ring and yeah it was like part humor <laughs> on my part but yeah. also a sincerity because you know you there's the moment right where the guy gets down on a knee and here yeah. you go here's a ring and you know we're married we're doing it backwards but here's the ring and it, it i I didn't go cheap. Like I got a very nice one. Oh yeah, for sure. It's uh, for it's, sure. It's gold, and, and I think it's like 1.4 or 1.5 carat. Yeah, and um, I was so happy when I saw that. You, you know, this is this is why they always say that good things come to, to those, those who wait. wait. Yeah. Yeah. When he bought this cheap ring for <laughs> me, I was like. Oh my goodness, what have I gotten myself into? This ring was only about $30. 30 US dollars! And I'm pretty sure those girls were right at laughing at me. Well, they, they were just talking about this themselves, why I, was, I would accept such a cheap ring, but I, I guess I trusted his word. He told me that he was just getting this cheap ring for sizing. And, and that's sure enough, works. that's what, you know, he bought me this diamond ring and I still wear the, the original band. I like to put it at the end like this. And, and I wear the diamond ring and, and uh, uh, during our stay in Canada he bought me this wedding ring that fits so I wear it like that and lots of people it looks very nice yeah you get a lot of I yeah mean, and it looks nice yes. I can I like it I love it I love it and yeah hold, hold your hand up so that people can see there look at that there you go. Yeah. There, two thumbs up. Yeah. And now you know why she got a cheap wedding ring yeah. from me. Sorry, my nails are sort of <laughs> unkept, but <laughs> yeah. I'm a mother of five, so I can get an excuse to go for with unkept nails for whatever time. And this cheap ring, I have kept it for She's still almost 18 years. It's the same. That's the first one. I yeah. Got. Maybe it's a. Uh, it's the interesting story. Yeah. It's yeah. It's an interesting story. So it's kind of funny. We still got it. Yeah. And, and now, now you know why. Yes. And I don't wear it, but I've kept it for just sentiment. Yeah. That's our story. That's the story. How you got me a cheap ring. And, it what, and why she was okay with that. <laughs> it all turned out happily ever after. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching our video. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and do turn on that post notification button so that each time I upload a video, you are notified. And just uh a little reminder a little gentle reminder we have opened a family channel so we're gonna be doing it with the kids and uh, just the whole family we're gonna be doing a lot of things like lifestyle parenting and travels and vlogs and it, it's it's gonna be nice it's gonna be very nice so please go ahead and support our family channel. Be on the lookout. Yeah, be on the lookout. What I'll do is I'll put the channel name in the channel uh, website so that you could, you could go there and subscribe. Just uh, go ahead and support me just the way you have supported the Frida Tate channel. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys. Bye now.